I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to apply primary trigonometric ratios to solve a right triangle problem. Determine the angle between the line y equals 2x plus 3 and the x-axis. So let's sketch the line first. That's the coordinate plane. The line is 2x plus 3. That means a y-intercept of 3. Let's say that is our y-intercept of 3 and slope is 2. That means rise of 2, run of 1. So that forms the second point. Joining these two points, we can get our line, right? So that line represents the given line y, right? This is our x-axis. Now, we need to find the angle which the line makes with the x-axis. That means we have to find this angle. Let's say this angle is theta for us. How to find this angle? That is the question. Now we know the y-intercept is 3 and as you can see these two x's are always at right angles. Therefore we have a triangle here which is right triangle. So if I can find the x-intercept I will know the base of this triangle and I already know the height and using tan of theta, we can find the angle, correct? So let's find the x-intercept. So we have the line y equals to 2x plus 3. To find x-intercept, at x-intercept, you know y is 0, right? So for x-intercept, y equals to 0. If I substitute 0 here, I get 0 equals to 2x plus 3 and from here we can write minus of 3 equals to 2x or x equals to minus 3 over 2 right so this position here is 1.5 so we can write x equals to minus 1.5 so this position is minus 1.5 now we have a triangle here whose base and height is known to us right so that distance is the base correct or you can see the adjacent side and this becomes the opposite side right so what is tan of theta so from here tan of theta is equals to opposite side which is three units divided by the adjacent from here to here 1.5 remember the distances are always positive right from here to here it is positive 1.5 so theta will be equal to tan inverse of 3 divided by 1.5 correct which is equals to we can take the calculator find the answer so second function gives us tan inverse within bracket 3 divided by 1.5 bracket close equal to we get 63.4349 right which we can always round to one decimal place and say approximately 63.4 degrees so that is how we can find the angle which a line makes with x-axis let me remind you here that normally slope itself is tan, right? If you see the slope of 2, let's do a second calculation. Slope m is basically tan theta, the angle which the line makes with x-axis, right? The slope is 2 for us, right? Slope is 2 for us. So we can say tan theta is equals to 2 and theta equals to tan inverse of 2. Let's calculate this value, tan inverse of 2. So we have second function, tan inverse of 2 equals to 63.4349. 63.4349. Exactly the same answer, correct? 3 divided by 1.5 is indeed 2. I purposely didn't do it and just to tell you that for any given line, slope is equals to tan theta. So remember, slope of a line is equals to 
tan theta, right? So that is a good thing to learn. And the method to find the angle is find x and y intercepts and then you can find the angle. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.